Hey guys, it's Kate. Um, so, same outfit. <laughs> I intentionally sat down to film this video, which is a Sony Clover Lane unboxing, but I also ended up adding a little like outro to the previous vlog, so if you're saying she's literally wearing the same thing, <laughs> it's because it's the same day, just a couple minutes apart. But as I said, um, Sony Clover just kills me, man. They released a ballet core collection that I think is probably my favorite one they've ever done, aside from the Disney collaborations, of course. And then speaking of Disney collaborations, they've then released an Alice in Wonderland collection. And I haven't bought anything from that collection yet, but the number of items from that collection in my cart is a little scary. So wanted to show you this first. If I do end up getting anything from Alice, I will let you know. But we're going to go ahead and open this together. And then I actually have my spring bag with me. Um, and I'm going to transition bags so I can kind of show you what I've been carrying in my bag, what's going in the new bag. I thought that'd be kind of fun to do since I have done quite a few what's in my bag videos, but not in this format where I'm like moving from one bag to the next. So thought that would be fun and different. As far as the box is concerned, we just have everything falling out on my dog. Sorry, Ollie. <laughs> um, the card, and they generally send a little postcard, and that just says, thank you so much for your purchase. Super cute. And then inside this one, we have the invoice. So this has a breakdown of everything that you ordered, which for me is seven items, but I did do monograms, a monogram on one of them, and I think they count that as an item, so is it six items? And then a monogram to make seven? I don't know, we're gonna find out together. So loud, okay, so this little sneak peek. I'm just literally gonna pull out of the bag. So first thing pulling out of the bag is this iron-on adhesive crystal. This was basically a freebie with X dollars spent item. I did not pick this or purchase this. It just came. And I think it says ballet. I'm reading like through the screen and backwards. Um, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> It says ballet, so that's super cute. Am I going to use this? Honestly, probably not, but that's a really nice thing to have, a nice freebie that goes with the collection. Now this I am stoked for. I love a little card holder, and I have one that is up-themed that I've pretty much worn into the ground. Um, so when I saw that they did this one, and I, to my recollection, I don't think that they've ever done a card holder, or at least from the time that I've started collecting until present, I haven't seen one. So stoked to see this. Look, how, sorry, my dog is laying at my feet and he just bumped the stand that my tripod is on. So it bumped the camera. Love this blush pink color, the simple black bow. The simplicity of this collection is what really sold me. So absolutely love that, beautiful. We'll just go in size order. So moving up from the card holder, I did get the mini pouch. And this is a solid black pouch with black bows on the front and the back. I love that it continued across both, not just on one. And another thing, new thing about this collection that I was really excited about is that it has silver hardware. Stony is pretty... Sorry, I'm trying to show you the, oh, Ollie, honey, stop moving the camera. Um, they're pretty well known for their core color collections and really any collection, but they have gold hardware traditionally. For this one, they opted to do silver. Absolutely love that. I feel like I am a white gold girly or I guess a silver girly then. Um, more so than gold generally, but I do also have a lot of gold jewelry, so. I wear them pretty interchangeably. This one is the small, so it's that blush pink. All those beautiful little mini bows. 
If you hear ripping, my youngest Arnold is on the bed right here to the right of me playing with the toy, so that's fun. And then again, you've got that silver hardware with the silver, oop, Stony Clover Lane pole, love. Then we have our large. Now, I have a couple of larges to be sure. Um, I definitely think these are the most versatile when actually packing for travel. I obviously don't carry these in any like, <laughs> what are you doing? And any like uh, day to day, like in my purse or anything, but because these are so big, when you are traveling, it really gives you so much room and the options for what you can put in these are pretty endless. I know a lot of people use these as a packing cube. They would put um, like intimates in here or swimsuits. You can have this be electronics. So cords, things like that. Um, I think you can actually fit. Yeah, definitely. I, I would say you could even fit two smalls in a large. So if you're being especially organized, you can put whatever you're putting in the smalls in the large and keep it all especially contained. Yeah, see, there's a small and a mini. So it really, let me zip it up so you can kind of see it fold it out there. Um, some people put books in these larger ones. I mean, it's, the options are endless. You can fit a lot in here, which is great. All right. So we've got mini, small, large. And then the very last thing that I got in this collection, and then we can put my stuff in here, is the drawstring tote. I did choose to have it embroidered with Katie. And then it has the Stony Clover plaque at the back. Loved the simplicity of the bow. Arnold Lemon. Cannot do anything in this house without these dogs on top of me, I swear. Um, <laughs> nature being a pet parent, right? But it is a drawstring closure, which I think is fun because it's definitely a style from them that I don't have. I think that that's what can be um, not, it's not in a negative, but if you're somebody that's definitely a collector of a certain fandom or brand or anything like that it's generally the same styles over and over and over right so if you're a lounge fly collector it's the same bag just different exteriors different designs of the exterior so pretty soon you have 15 of the same bag just different patterns on the outside so i really appreciated that yes stony has their staples the large the small the mini and I absolutely have these 10 times over, but then they do continuously branch out with things like the card holder, the drawstring pouch or tote, excuse me. It keeps me uh, coming back for sure because I love the styles and I love those staples, but I also like that they're trying new things all the time. So that is that. And what I wanna do now, as I said, is I wanna move into this bag and have this be my Spring bag. So I'm going to take things out of my current spring bag and show you what's in here. So it's kind of like a what's in my bag and as I move things over. So this is the bag I'm currently carrying. I got this on the Coach Outlet website and I have shown it in my bag collections before but I love this little guy. I think it's called their camera bag. Um, it does have two zip compartments here at the top. So it does make for pretty natural or easy organization just because it's already separated out. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out my little Barbie mini. Love this little guy. And I now have the black mini. So I'm literally just gonna put everything that's in here in here in the bag. And what I have in here is a pen always need a pen tide pen this is so cool 
This is actually a pair of scissors. My mom got me this one year in my stocking. Right? Isn't that cool? Love having a pair of scissors. You never know. I then have a champagne apple and honey chapstick and hand lotion, which I'm actually going to put on right now because my lips are chapped. I swear. I try to drink water. I try to drink anything just to stay hydrated and my lips are just chapped no matter how much of what I drink. It, I, I don't know. And I've tried EOS, I've tried lip oils, I've tried Burt's Bees, I mean everything and I love it all, but there isn't anything that particularly like stays on my lips for an extended period of time and make sure that they're not peeling and cracking and all that cute stuff. So love that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> uh, Tylenol. have to have a Tylenol. Little um, deodorant. I actually need to get a replacement for this one because it has come like unconnected. Oh, and it's like cracked. So I need to pop a new one in there. And then we have liners and pads. So we can take the Barbie one out and put the bow one in. And this part I'll speed up so you don't have to watch me stuffing this thing. <laughs> Trying to take all the like tags off and all that. I'll speed this part up. Done. And then we just pop this in the tote and move on to the next thing. So. The next thing that I have in my bag, um, just free floats, so I can just toss that in there easy. It is a little manicure kit with an obnoxious mirror. So, pop that in. And then also, you guys, I went to Bath & Body Works when the Bridgerton collection dropped and I got the little B pocket back, what are these called? Yeah, pocket back clips it was a big gold b with a letter b for bridgerton and it was the little keychain that would hang on your bag and it dropped and broke so i just have the sanitizer now this one is wisteria garden but i need to see if they have it in stock if i can get a new one um, and that is everything in that zip so what i've got in this zip is my wallet. Um, this one is up. A little balloon. Oh, I love it. So let me go ahead and put my cards in my card holder. Cute. Ah, I love it. All right. And then I have my keys. I used to have, I'm not kidding, like 10 different keychains on this thing. And they, I mean, I carried it around like that for quite a while. They were looking ragged. So I cleared them all off, tossed them. And then when my husband and I went to Atomic Horror, which is a fun little small shop that is entirely horror based, I found this forks like these kind of look like the older style hotel if lost please return to key rings you know um and it says forks high school home of the spartans in forks washington drop in any mailbox we guarantee postage so loved that and definitely have had i'm sure it's like with the nostalgia of the early 2000s and whatnot have had a little bit of a twilight resurgence um, I listened, I rewatched all the movies. I'm currently listening to Midnight Sun, which I believe is the title. Um, but that's Edward's retelling of the original Twilight, the first book. Um, listening to that, to that on Spotify right now. And we are planning on going to Spooky Empire and they have some of the cast members from Twilight that you can meet there. The actress Ashley Green that played Alice, um, Jackson Rath. Rath 
oh goodness <laughs> he's the one that played um jasper and then the actor that plays carlisle terrible with names um <laughs> they're gonna be there so i have shirts that are like forks shirts from amazon that abel and i are gonna wear it's a whole thing um and i'm not even mad about it so had to do those and then i do have my sunglasses these ones mom got for me in my easter basket this year oh gosh over my headband um but i actually might switch these out i have a ton of sunglasses in this drawer and i'll do that in just a second um, but that's everything in my purse this is a pretty small bag so it doesn't allow you to carry a ton which is great because then you're not carrying a ton on your shoulder <laughs> um but with that being said because there isn't too much more in here I have a ton of room in this bag and I can definitely fit like a water bottle, um, anything like that. What I wanted to show you was I also love carrying a book. I just finished Broken Vow and that one was spicy y'all, but really good. I finished it in like three days. So this is the next one I'm going to read. I know Challengers with Zendaya is brand new out and this also is a story of a tennis player. So kind of in the uh mood for that i thought that that kind of made sense with what is really big in movies right now um and it's very summery right like tennis pickleball those are all very summer vibe sports but this one is called carrie soto is back by taylor jenkins reed and she is the author of the seven husbands of evelyn i'm looking for the thing the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I know that's another really popular book that I do have and I just haven't had the opportunity to read. It is in my to be read. Um, don't you worry. So just to kind of give you guys a gauge. I mean, there is so much room in this bag still there. I could fit so much in here. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of room that I have that I can get a water bottle, like a ton in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off and um, pick out a different pair of sunglasses from here and get that in there but i'm going to end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing one and two kind of what's in my bag and how i transition from one to the next i like to keep things like stony clover pouches in my bag that keeps things organized because then it makes moving from one thing to the other so so easy and i'm a bag girl love a bag if you guys have seen my bag collection you'll know I have a lot. So I like being able to switch in and out pretty quickly so I can have them match my outfits, have them match the month, the mood, the holiday, whatever. Um, so I'm super into that. But if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.